everybody. Hello. Welcome to another episode of Costume Couture. I'm Ian. And I'm Ray. And we have a third person here. Otherwise known as a guest. Yeah, we got a guest. We got another one, guys. We didn't have to pay this one either. It's good. Wow. Well, you know. Don't insinuate that we pay others. Like. <laughs> That's true. Um, we just pay them with alcohol. I was going to say, isn't this how you pay? Anyway? Yes. Sure. We pay with booze. What All are right. we drinking today? We are drinking a... I believe it's a raspberry. A raspberry lambic. That's the word. <laughs> Who's our guest, Ian? Our guest is Guy, also known as... Argent Fox Cosplay. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you, you very much yes, for thank coming you for coming. On. Oh, that's good. It is actually good. That's good refreshing for a nice hot summer day like it is now. It is. All right. So let's talk cosplay. Let's talk you. Uh-huh. You're, yeah. You don't like talking about yourself at all, do you? <laughs> Depends on what the subject is. So, yeah. Um, let's start with how you got into this crazy world of cosplay. Oh, wow. Um, well, costumes have always been really big with me. Halloween, basically, and stuff. So my friends and I typically go all out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then that sort of evolved into conventions and cosplaying at the conventions. So it was probably about... Three or four years ago, I think, when I went to my first convention in costume. And who so, were you? That was Stan Lee, and it was a total closet cosplay. <laughs> uh, and how that came about was uh, my friends were all going as the X-Men. We had Rogue, we had Cyclops. Um, the person I was dating at the time went as Iceman, and we had a Gambit. Oh, okay. And so I actually was not going to dress in cosplay. Uh, I was going to just help them all with their costumes. You could be a handler. Uh, yeah, I was going to be a handler, and I actually took uh, a couple lessons with a makeup artist to learn how to do body paint, and I did Iceman's body paint. Okay. Um, and then at the last minute, everyone's like, "You need to, you need to go. You need to throw something together." Oh no! So <laughs> you're like, "Great, I was like, All right. So I had a jacket. I mm. had, you know, the look like a typical Stanley jacket threw that together I already had the silver slash white hair Mm -hmm. Uh, just had to find something to color my mustache I shaved the rest of my beard off and uh, had some aviator glasses and away we went yeah and that was actually the first year as well that we were featured we were the feature picture on the FYI FYE section of the Kansas City Star Ooh, that's incredible cause famous um, and the whole thing was uh, Stanley also came about because I helped them help them get ready help some of my friends do some of the pieces of their costumes mm-hmm. so i figured i helped create them stanley created the x-men I right love that. So okay that was the whole That's tie-in it all ties in yeah it's really and smart that's cute that was my comment with the newspaper the reporter who put yeah. me aside she's like well you know why did you do this how are you involved and i'm like well stanley created the x-men and i sort of helped create them so, so ta-da these yeah. are my babies look yeah. at them um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, after that, it just every every convention it that exploded. I started, yeah, that's so, what always happens. You do one costume, and you're like, all right, it I'm becomes gonna do an everything addiction. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like tattoos. And then it, it went from one day. Sorry, no, it went from good. one Go day to um, you know the next convention. I did two costumes, and mm-hmm. then the next convention after that, it was, it was a different costume every then, day yep. and and everything. So that's how it works. Yeah. How many do you think you've done so far? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, someone asked the other day, cosplays that I actually, I probably have at least 12 nice. that I can still pull number. out and and, um, and do. Uh, and that would be 12 over four years. So it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but um, most of them, the majority of them happened starting around two, three years ago where I started actually sewing. Because prior to Naka of, was it last year or the year before? Naka of 15, I believe. That's I an anime. No, yes. sorry, Naka Kami. That's for the yeah. animes. Uh, I didn't know how to sew other than basic, like, hand stitching. Right. And I had done some sewing when I was younger uh, on a machine. But, uh, yeah. So, my and first I can do time, patterns and everything. <clears throat> I can do patterns. I can do uh, embroidery. I can do, yeah. yeah. You're just a master of all traits. No, no. <laughs> Matt, Matt, a little it's bit traits, of all, sweetie, yeah, it's traits. traits. Oh, but uh, I'm, drink my drink. I'm just dangerous. I, yeah. I know enough on certain things to be dangerous. That's always a good thing to keep in your back pocket. Be like, yeah. bam. But uh, Naka, that was the year I didn't have any song experience prior to that, and we made three different costumes. 
That's um, incredible. That's yeah. that's that something. was a different. Well, I started, of course, in October, and it was right. in March, so I had quite a bit of time. And I actually, a friend of mine, she's been selling for um, thirty or forty years. Uh, hey, Roxine. Um, and she comes over and she helps. She actually oh, instructs cool. me. She doesn't do any of the actual work, but she right. instructs me. She explains like, no, things. That's not good. She do will. It again. She will show me. Yeah, she will show me um, pointers and how to do things. Right. I don't understand the pattern, so she's. That's always me. nice to have an on hands like real person there teaching yourself. You Absolutely. know, not you know messing up and then going to YouTube and seeing you know what to do for it. It's yeah, nice to have the actual person there. Yeah, that's what I had to do. That's how I learned all my skills as YouTube. Yep. And I, I tried doing YouTube, but I'm much more hands-on, being able to ask yeah, someone, um, learner. And so that was really phenomenal. But that year at NACA, we did uh, Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. So we did all of the Sailor Scouts. And then uh, I did that with uh, another group, uh, another castle creation. Yes. So you guys You're frequent. Had on. Yes, frequent yeah. collaborators. Um, so then my friend John, and there were a few others. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did them. We did our own versions of... Uh, Lolitas. We did. That's the year we did the evolutions. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's so fun. Where we Those did Lolita, really different Lolita styles for each of the different uh, evolutions. Mm -hmm. And then I did the Lynn from Legend of Korra. Oh, okay. Yeah. So those were the three that year. And I don't know if I saw the third one, but I know I saw the evolutions. Evolutions. Yeah. Those are really cute. Um. So let. I mean, the first costume that I think I saw you in was Magneto. Mm -hmm. And that's I think one of the costumes that a lot of people know you as. Yeah. So, yeah, stroke the helmet. <laughs> there. It's so shiny. It is. It's very shiny and very it is, pretty. It's metallic paint. It's automotive paint. Sorry. Not, it is metallic, call. but it is automotive. Really? Um, That's interesting. Yeah. I bought a uh, raw helmet cast mm -hmm. from, I forget the name of the prop maker now, but I bought a raw helmet cast, did all of the finishing work, and did all the paint work myself. But uh, <clears throat> there was a tutorial on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he used uh, automotive paint for the metallic shine. I don't think I've ever seen someone was, use automotive paint before. It was perfect. Oh, it's an mm -hmm. easy trick. If you don't isn't it have expensive? The, Not really. No? It depends mm -hmm. on how much you want to spend. If you don't have the time to sit there and sand forever, mm -hmm. then getting a paint that's inherently shiny mm -hmm. saves you on sanding. That's true. So yeah. it, it kind of depends. You know, my, my former partner, Hills, she would spend a month sanding all of her armor, and I don't have that patience, so I just right. bought automotive paint. Mm -hmm. and, That's actually really helps, smart. So. Okay. Yeah. And they come, it, I mean, it's just like normal, normal spray paint. Right. Uh, you know, you get cans of it, it's like $9 yeah. instead oh, of okay. $4. I was um, from like some like industrial heavy machine no, that uses because automotive no, paint. I didn't, no. okay. Cool. Uh, Duple Color is one of the big brands, and it's made for sort of matching and blending, so that was the best part about that, too, is that... Um, it has a clear coat on it too, so I'd have to strip the clear coat off if I were to ever repaint it or redo it. Right. And then the purple trim is actually a tester's uh, model paint. It's a, a one shot. It's a lacquer with the clear coat in it. So it's oh, a one so shot, just, one and done. Okay. So you spray it on, and when it when it dries and everything, that's how it looks. The issue with that though is there's no going back over and touching up. You do, you do it all and and hope you did it and well. Hope it now did you do the purple first, the red first? Red first, and then I masked uh, the red all off and everything, and then I did the purple. Okay. So why Magneto? Uh, Magneto, I'm a huge X Men fan. Uh, Jean Grey Phoenix is my is my go to. But uh, when I started doing cosplay and started getting more into it. I decided to originally. I'm like, I don't want to do a lot of wigs. Right. Everybody um, says that at first. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to um, do any of that. So I decided. Well, let's start looking at things I could do with my hair, with my natural hair, especially mm -hmm. with the silver and, mm -hmm. and the gray, which is natural. So uh, a lot of people think it's not, but it is natural. So magneto, cable, quicksilver, all these things start going through my mind. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And so magneto, I love the X Men. I believe he is. He's always. Typically, cast as a villain depends on which run you're in. Sometimes right. he's a villain, sometimes he's a hero. Or in all the movies, he's both. Right, yeah, he's <laughs> both. He flips um, the sides. The thing that I like about him is he's almost misunderstood. Even yes. when he's a villain, he really has the mutants and his people in mind. Um, and he's trying to do what he thinks is best for Right. Him. I get it. They make that analogy very much, you know, Professor X is Martin Luther King and right. Magneto is Malcolm X. Right. So I can I see where that totally 
fits in. And so I like that he's sort of misunderstood, and and he will go to, and that's the difference between also between him and Xavier is he mm-hmm. will go to Lynx. Xavier won't go to yes. to protect. He will kill. <laughs> yes. He, he will, will just kill. genocide everyone. Right. And he will do things that he will take those actions. And mm-hmm. and I, I I admire that. I mean, I don't admire the killing part of the Actually, genocide. Are you going to be coming? Are you like in a genocide um, of people soon? No. Oh my okay. gosh. I'm making sure. Are no, we safe at there least? Is, you're, yeah, there's cool. none of that. But Look, uh, I'm making sure we're good. Ian, this is what I do. Connor, just <laughs> take it down and so. off. But yeah, I'm and, saving ourselves. And so there was that. That that's why um, Magneto. And then last year I did Jean. Yes. I did my first. So I plan on doing all iterations of Jean's costumes I love throughout that. the years. That's a lot so of costumes. It is. So you've got um, Marvel Girl, which is what I started with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did Marvel Girl, yes. and then the mask Ta-da. is here uh, that I made. So I started with her. I plan on doing the '90s jumpsuit. I plan on doing the X Factor jumpsuit. Uh, the Phoenix. Green, red, white. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there's her headmistress outfit when she was running Xavier's school. Where right. She's got the the uh, leather jacket and the. Are you do uh, the Black Queen outfit? No, no. <laughs> That's Madeline Pryor. <laughs> that is true. Not uh, okay. not Jean. So. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah. So there is there is none of that, and right. I probably will not do the new Jean. It will be all original jeans. So it won't be like the Sophie Turner Jean Grey. No, and it Ponka won't be. Jean, so. um, and it won't be the current Jean. The the Jean that's this time displaced in the comics. Okay. Mm-hmm. They actually, since Jean does not exist in the comics for ten plus years, right? They brought her back in by them going back and picking the original five X Men and bringing them to the future or to the present. So she still have her Phoenix powers. Or no? The Phoenix is after her right now. Sorry oh, okay. for spoilers if anyone's not caught up on the new Jean Grey, so- Jean Grey solo series. So Phoenix is after her yet yes. again. Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. So why why Jean? What makes her so cool I just, to you? I just had this discussion with a friend. Um, because in Marvel, it's Jean, Phoenix, mm-hmm. and in DC, it's Wonder Woman. Right. Both powerful women. A lot of people don't see Jean as a powerful woman because a lot of people, especially younger people, have seen the movie versions and the cartoon versions. Mm -hmm. And they are not great representations of Jean Grey whatsoever. They really aren't. Uh, Especially the the cartoon, the 90s cartoon, which I love the 90s X-Men cartoon. I do too. However, Jean is portrayed as one of the weakest members of the team. She is. Yeah. Uh, She's often written off or left aside. Mm -hmm. And And it's mainly Cyclops, Wolverine having adventures. Or Mm -hmm. she'll move a toaster and she'll be spent for the rest of the the episode. (laughs) The end. Because she's tired. When in the comic books, that's not the case. In the comic books. very funny. Isn't she like a level... Five. Mutant? She's an she's an omega level yeah. mutant. So yeah, the the numbers were just that one film. Like, oh, that's no, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. They've never even talked about that anywhere else. It's, that's how I know was the, the numbers from the movie. No, yeah. otherwise it's the uh, omega and, Greek yeah. alphabet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's, omega is the highest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's even stronger than Xavier. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and so that's the thing. And so she's been not only that, um, she's one of the strongest mutants out there. She could wipe your mind mm-hmm. she could control you mm-hmm. she could um do many things and she doesn't so she she other than the dark phoenix she has to war with that power all the time mm-hmm. so she's always at battle with herself she's always keeping herself in check and doing what's right for her her team humans mutants right everyone and she's sort of like this big mother that holds the team together as well, and this strong character that you don't see in the cartoons. Or the I wish they would portray movies. that now. Now I want to see that. And well, my friend, this is upsetting me. my friend Scott, who I was just having this discussion with, he's like, I just don't get Jean. He goes, I know these are fighting words, but I just don't get right. it. Which makes sense, you know. Mm-hmm. It's you know, not it's, necessarily insulting, yeah. but people don't know. And I went into this long explanation about why I liked her. And he goes, I wish they would portray that Jean in the movies. Well. I completely agree. When I was a kid, I really loved Storm and Rogue because they're they're much more colorful. They're much more out there and in your face, and Jean's not. And it wasn't until I grew up and I realized, man, my personality is a lot like Jean, just constantly keeping yourself in check. Mm-hmm. So you're professional. So mm-hmm. you're kind, and you know, just you have to hold back the evil. Right, <laughs> yeah. the, the evilness that is. That's what I do. Yeah. Or the power that's just going to burn you up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so you do a lot of charity work, and yes, uh, yeah. So that's one of the my heart and souls of why I continue to do this. That's fantastic. Um, uh, I do a lot. So luckily, I had the um, honor, of, and I don't exactly remember how to, how it came about, but um, Elite Supergirl, who does a lot with Children's Mercy Hospital, absolutely. Um, through I think becoming better friends with her and just um, being in the circuit, I got to know her. Got to know some other friends that have done this stuff, and had my first opportunity about a year and a half ago to go to. It'll be two years in this October to go to my first Children Mercy like event at Children Mercy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and what what Jessica does, and they don't realize, or I think a lot of people don't realize, is there are the big publicized events everyone sees the the one coming up the casey mm-hmm. cares the ones at the park and the ones and, in, right. yeah but what she does and what she's been doing for almost 10 years is um she's been fostering this relationship with them and they do hospital visits mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in which uh she'll bring in characters uh with the approval of the hospital in disney princesses princes superheroes star wars yeah and we will actually get to go to the locations and visit the the kids in their rooms visit them in the playrooms and basically brighten up their day or bring a smile to something when someone who is you know a small child who is severe that is ill severely injured chronic condition Mm -hmm. possibly terminal Mm -hmm. who's stuck in a hospital and that's all they see every day so that's that's one of the big things that keeps me going um in doing this and that's why you know some events i'm like i'll go to con i'm like no i'm not feeling a a costume today i'm not going to dress up Mm -hmm. yeah but when I had that event going on and I, you know, and Jessica or someone contacts me and said, I need you to dress up as Magneto and come to Children's Mercy on Thursday. I'm like, all right, let me put the time in to work. Right. So. Now do, cause you do Prince Charming mm-hmm. and you also do <clears throat> Magneto. Do, does one character get more recognition and love than the other since Magneto is a villain and Prince Charming is a Disney prince? It varies. Um, now that you mentioned that, if we see, what's funny is it varies with the girls versus the boys okay. a lot of times not always um but a lot of the girls will be more towards the princess and mm-hmm. the princesses because they're more into disney right Absolutely. and the cartoons and stuff whereas the boys um i was at the casey cares i believe it was yeah. supporting event last year and i was magneto and you know magneto doesn't get a lot of recognition sometimes i mean at the conventions and stuff he does especially from, right. from parents and stuff like that and i do have some kids that do but I'm setting with Spider-Man and Iron Man. I think it was Spider-Man, and Iron Man, and me. And of course, all the kids are coming over on Iron mm-hmm. Man and Spider-Man. Yeah. And I hear like just in my helmet, which is I hear this little voice just <laughs> screaming, <faint> "Echo!" <laughs> and just this little kid kind of had just crested the stairs and just beeline straight for <laughs> me. That's awesome. And so that stuff like that was just like wow. And, That's and yeah, sweet. I've had other little kids that have said the same thing that, oh, Magneto. And there was l- another little boy at Children's Mercy recently that he didn't recognize me. But when his mom explained who my kids were, um, oh, Quicksilver, Quicksilver and Scarlet, and Witch. Scarlet Witch, he knew immediately who I was. That's okay. Cool. So, yeah. See that? And then when a kid comes up to you and goes, I know who you are, I love you, I think that makes you be like, all right, this was a good choice. This yeah. was a good you know, investment of my time and my money, no matter how much I spent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what, even though that five second interaction, yeah, it made it worth it. Yeah, that's what it does. That and and that's it. And that's why I continue to do Magneto. I mean, I've talked about retiring him because I've I've worn him at both local cons. I've worn him at KCC and Planet Now. Mm-hmm. Um, KCC, when you first saw him, is when I debuted him, which was yes. two years ago. And then I revamped him. Uh, I redid all the armor uh, and stuff. Because I had learned so much with foam techniques. Mm-hmm. Might as well that it it's easy to change that I it. updated it. Yeah. yeah, that I updated it, made it better. My gauntlets, my armor, it just looked better. Because the first time when I do comparison pictures, it's... I thought they looked different from. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but it, I'm like. No, I actually, different? I think I posted on my page a long time ago. I posted comparison Like before photos, and after? Before yeah. And after. Uh, this is what it was originally. This is the updated version. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's nine, nine day night difference. Day. With yeah. Just, yeah. So is it. Is it hard to kind of keep your composure when you're at Children's Mercy? Because you see a lot of these kids hooked up to these machines and they're, you know, you don't know what they're, what's going to happen to them. No. I... They're getting all teary. Yeah, maybe. Aww, I mean, I have emotions. It, I know. It, it is, it, it is sort of, 
what I focus on is the kids and I'm there to make them happy. So mm-hmm. I try not to, to think about that. Think and yes, they're kids with, with IVs and, 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 and machines that are with them. You know, we have um, children in uh, wheelchairs and various other... Um, and there's also kids that we won't get to go into their rooms because they're in isolation. Because right. They're, you know, they their immune system is immune down. System yeah. Or they're, they're contagious or, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, it does get hard sometimes, but at the same time, just a smile on their faces. It makes it better. Um, it does. Uh, yeah. And there was a, a little girl a couple visits ago that it was the second or first time, first or second time I wore Charming at the downtown location. Okay. okay. I'd worn it to the Kansas location before. Right. And she was all about Disney. Like, she could name all the movies. She'd seen all the oh, movies. fantastic. And we had on that visit, we had Moana, we had Snow White, Captain Hook. It was the whole Disney and, crew. Yeah. And, yeah. And Prince Charming. And she sees, you know, she gets a little excited over them. And then I come around and she's like, oh, charming. <laughs> and Because um, you have the glass slipper, yeah, too. When I don't have a Cinderella with me, I yeah. will carry a glass slipper, right. which I should have brought. Um but, uh, but yeah, I'll carry a glass slipper and indicate that I'm looking for Cinderella. Mm-hmm. And so she was all about it. So I even let her try my shoe on to see oh, okay. fit her. Uh, of so course, her fit was like this big. Right. So no. But yeah. <laughs> so darn it. Yeah. So you, I don't want you to retire your Magneto necessarily because, <laughs> no, because we Not went to Denver. <laughs> we, I know that, but we went to Denver Comic Con mm-hmm. and you cosplayed that with our friend Clint, mm-hmm. who does Mr. Sinister, Correct. who knocks it out of the park, and you two could not get three feet without getting a picture taken. This is true. We're actually like doing... it was just like you know, all right, let's go this way. Can I get a picture? And all these kids would just surround them and click, 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 yeah. click like paparazzi. Um, we <laughs> didn't. We didn't do a lot of walking at Denver that day. No, you were the two of, when we were the the Marvel villains. Yeah. Um, and there's also a great picture, too, where there was a bunch of other X-Men mm-hmm. that we got in his room. I remember There that, was even yeah. a, uh, a gender bent juggernaut. Yeah. Oh, um, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, um, Denver she was really She was a, a petite girl with a huge helmet. It was awesome. Uh, that's kind of, that's yeah. kind of funny. Um, but it was great. And we're doing that again for Dragon, because we're kind of oh, good. going to Dragon Con in Atlanta in a couple weeks. So we're, take, we're both taking both of those. And I think after that, I will probably just wear Magneto at... Um, for Children's Mercy mm-hmm. events. Makes sense. Do that for like a special... I plan on redoing. So that's the other thing with the characters that I like, um, which I'm sure you guys probably do the same thing. Mm-hmm. I know you do it with Harley. Yes. Um, the characters I like, I like doing other versions of them. Oh, yeah. Yes. And that's my next goal is is I may retire the classic red version. I want to do the Marvel Now version. The, the black, black and with silver the, one? With the white and silver. Yes. Pants. So that looks leather. Jesus? Did an angel get its wings? <laughs> what? what happened? So, but yeah, so I want to do that. Um, and then there's a, a, a few others that I think, but on my slate, in addition to that is I want to do Cable. Like, are you going to wait for Deadpool 2 to come out? No. Because do, uh, do... I've seen... Do the, it whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the um, the initial teasers, the little mm-hmm. um, images they I don't really care for. His costume. Yeah. I, 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 I grew up collecting X-Men in the 90s slash early 2000s. So those are who I default to. Those are your inspirations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Jim Lee X Men um, and stuff like that. The the drawing, you know, him as the the artist, and everything, amazing. Yes. So uh, I forgot Jim Lee did the X Men for yeah. a while. He did. Yeah. He's, yeah. He because I know him mainly for DC Batman. and Hush, mm-hmm. and, but I forgot that he did X Men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, and then in the nineties, he was big. He was yes. huge in the nineties. So like the '90s cable is with okay the, with all the yellow pouches, yellow like, and the blue. And I'll be the... making pouches okay. for days. <laughs> um, oh, cable. those are fun. Yeah, right. So the, the yellow, the yellow uh, speedo oh, underwear yes. thing. That's a look. Yes. Yeah, that's a look. look. Well, he's cables is Cyclops' son, right? So of course they made and all their costumes were very similar mm-hmm. in terms of the team. Makes sense. The gray Summers family always yep. kind of match. Mm-hmm. Yes. So his costume was sort of like his dad's Cyclops costume with the blue bodysuit and the yellow the pouches yellow, yeah. and straps and the bloomers. The, the so. bloomers. <laughs> now, you spoke about Wonder Woman briefly, which I know you love Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. Are you going to do a Wonder Woman costume? It may be in the works. Okay. It may be somewhere planned. Because I haven't slated. seen you do Wonder Woman yet, I and I really want you to do Wonder Woman. Uh, there's you a... haven't done Wonder Woman either, so... I... <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so the thoughts are, um, I'll just, I'll, I'll share it here. The thoughts are I'm going to do a gender bent version. 
Okay. I'm going to do a male version with... Don't copy me! Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to do um, her current movie um, costume. The gladiator okay. armor. Yeah. yeah. And the... and that's what I'll do is the gender. Okay. So. See? Okay, now I can't wait for that. <laughs> and then another costume we haven't talked about yet, and the props are here, is Queen Barrel. Queen Barrel was a lot of fun. So, that was fun to see you in that big old red wig, and you were cinched, and the purple dress, and everything. Um, yeah, I made a full-on evening gown. That's what I, what That's I did fantastic. for Barrel. Uh, and how that came about is, I actually was, I had fun at Naka the first year, but mm-hmm. we did three costumes. Um, I, I did three costumes with my friends, all three days, and that was a bit much for Naka. I like Naka, don't get me wrong, and anime convention is fine, but for me... I prefer the comic conventions. Me too. I agree. Yes. Um, so those are more my scene. So I had decided I was going to go to Naka the next year, but I wasn't even going to cosplay. Okay. And um, another Castle Creations mm-hmm. and my friend John, uh, they're like, oh, we're going to do Sailor Moon villains. You should join us. Because when we talked about Sailor Moon the year before doing all the Guardians, we had talked about that they maybe at some point do villains. I'm like, oh, if you guys ever do villains, I'm, I want to do Barrel. Right. Because uh, I love Barrel. She's just evil and and elegant and just looks great. Mm-hmm. And so they reach out to me and they're like, well, we're going to do um, um, villains. Would you be interested? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Well, I'll, I can do this. And so started doing this, came about this labor of love, doing a fully lined, fully everything evening gown for Barrel. Right. And then that was the fun thing of trying to come up with a way to support it because being a man dressing as a woman, we have certain issues in terms of up here <laughs> of trying to get things to hold <laughs> since certain things are not natural. Yes. And fake. Um, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm. So that was a little... So coming up with a strapping system basically so that I could do a strapless look right uh, without it being strapless because it was clear or, straps right or no it? I actually made um, oh that's color. right you did a I did flesh tone that's right strap around the neck nice um, that actually blended really well with with, with your skin. skin so uh, yeah but it was a lot of fun I had a blast in it I need to come up with some reason to wear her again so could you bring her out again for Naka next year I could uh, she was a big hit at Naka because a lot of people had never seen a barrel. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think sure, I saw one not barrel there besides you. Very popular yeah. when no. you cosplay, uh, which is weird because I think she's the most popular Sailor Moon villain. When yeah, I think I of Sailor Moon, I think of her immediately as the villain. Yeah, because so. she was the bi- the big bad from the first season. Yeah, so and that's maybe why I think yeah. of it. But um, but yeah, uh, everyone thinks the Sailor Scouts is what they think. When they think Sailor Moon. You're definitely correct there. <laughs> I always go to the villains because I'm a villains guy, but whatever. You are. I am. Yeah. You look um, the baddie. I do. So, another costume, speaking, you, you talk about your closet costume for uh, Stan Lee. Mm-hmm. You also kind of did one for um, Denver for the third oh, day. Oh, Talk yes. about that like, one, what? please. And talk about what happened with it, with the picture. Um. So, for Denver, uh, I was going to go non-cosplay for a third day. Which I found I enjoy, like, especially when I attend a con, uh, a con, uh, con uh, for three days. I like going one day in plain clothes so I can shop, because I like right. to buy a lot of statues if I can find them. That was them. the only yes. way I could get through it at the Dragon Con vendor hall. Mm. But I think it's just person to person, shoulder to shoulder. If I had been in costume, I would have had panic attacks and mm-hmm. violent fits. Yeah. <laughs> it would not have been good. Uh, so I like that, especially... Um, to shop yes uh, so I like to go check it out and I, I think that's my plan this year for for drag and at least one of the days is just go and plain clothes at least the vendor hall yeah and um, so I was going to do uh, I was taking Magneto I was taking casual mercy mm-hmm. um, casual gender bent mercy and then my friends were doing uh, another castle creations again they're horrible influences I on know. you they are just um, they just they were doing nineties day. Yes. Um and their nineties day, I think Mark and Laura were Saturn and Captain Britain. Mm-hmm. Um Julian and Adam were gonna be Anastasia. Yes, they looked amazing. And then, um I find out that Christina and Molly are doing Buffy because James Marsters is gonna be there. Yes. And I'm like, Oh, that's cool because I love Buffy. Huge Sarah Michelle Geller, mm-hmm. huge Buffy fan. I own the whole series, loved it. I watch it. Probably we watch it every couple of years. It's a good series to watch. Yeah, yeah and so I decided I'm I'm talking to Christina because we talk regularly, and I was like, well, maybe I should do a Giles. And this is like a week before Denver, right? And she's like, that'd be awesome. We're getting a photo with James Marsters. I was like, 
all right, let me see what I can come up with. Right. So I, she has a jacket that her husband has that's actually too big for him that, that works for me, and so that's going to work. I find glasses on Amazon. I find a sweater vest on Amazon. And then I decide I need a prop. Because <laughs> that's the other thing that I like to do to myself is I will come up with a cosplay and then decide, I need a prop. That's why I am too. Like, let me just... Not use I need any to of my carry hands. Something yeah, for right. eight hours. That's what exactly. it's my for my cat with my claws. Let me have claws and not be able to do yeah. anything for anyone, but <laughs> I'll look good. Right. I mean, that's that's my that used to be the the joke with all my friends was oh well, guys always gonna have a prop. Yeah, I will too. So. Well, so I decided to do uh, for those of you that are familiar with Buffy in the very first episode, first season. Uh, when she meets Giles for the first time, and she goes in the library, she, he flops this giant book. He does. Mm-hmm. On, the vampire one. Yeah, the yes. vampire book on the desk. And so I decide that I'm going to recreate the vampire book. Oh it looks so good, you guys. <laughs> so so I, good. I went to Half Price Books. I bought an old 1978 Chilton's Auto Repair Manual because <laughs> it was thick enough and it had yellowed enough pages on the outside good. of Makes the book. Makes sense. Less work for you. Yeah. And then went about making this look like an old weathered leather bound black book with Beautiful. um etched gold which i should have brought that i totally forgot <laughs> i forgot to tell you about it too yeah. i just didn't think about the it, only but... thing i need to add to it i didn't have time to do i was actually at denver still painting on it and adding stuff i think i wore him on sunday and i was still painting friday night yeah um so i had to put a couple coats on but it turned out really well um I'm thinking about it, it was a big hit too, uh, just the the props. So I'm thinking about selling them. <laughs> well, I mean, them. you know. So yeah, so we'll see. Um, but on Sunday, uh, so we had Buffy and Drusilla and Giles, mm. and um, they were going to get their picture taken. They're like, "You should go with us." So we go. We walk in, and James is like, "Wow, you guys look great." You know, we get our photo, and he's like, "I want you to come back by my to his booth, booth, right? Okay, after you guys are done here, if you don't mind, because I want to get a picture and put you on my site." Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. And so we did that. We went back and um, waited in line. It was funny because we went back at his request. We're in line with everyone else that's waiting, and the woman's going through. You know, you want to autograph? You want to mm-hmm. autograph? What do you want? More like. We're here because he asked us to come back. <laughs> We're here at his request. Yeah, and so she moves us over to the like the, the fast, fast pass, pass line. line. Yeah. Okay. We get up there. He takes a he actually takes a video of us instead oh, of a, cool. a photo. Posted it, and then right next to him was Juliet Landau. Who mm-hmm. Was Drusilla. She's so nice. I met her. Yeah, she's, she's a doll. Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, so we went over to her because she didn't have very many people. We went over to get a I think a selfie. I, Christina wanted a selfie or something. So yeah. again, her husband, while we were taking pictures, took pictures and she posted and shared on her Instagram. Um, but yeah, so that was a huge hit. You didn't think it was gonna be I, like you're like I'm just gonna do Giles, not yeah. gonna you know whatever. He probably sees a million Giles, but bam, you're on the website. Well, you're and, on the Instagram. And then I ran into as we were leaving the last day on Sunday, I ran into a girl that stopped me and she's like, "I really ever see you, Giles. You know, it's great to see you." She gave me a card because she and her friends do like a Buffy cosplay group. Oh, cool. In Denver. And so she's like, oh, we'd love to include you. And I'm like, I'm oh. not local. <laughs> Sorry. But Denver's a close enough con that, yeah. you know, it's not. Right. You can make it happen. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. That's so, so cool. Thank you so much for joining us, oh, guys. thank you. Yes, thank you. So where can everyone find and stalk you at? <laughs> oh, uh, two places. I have an Instagram. Yeah, talk to them. I put these on. Um, I, I was going to say you should, you should tell those off. Um, GJ Baker 75 I believe is my Instagram I haven't checked in a while and then on Facebook I'm Argent Fox cosplay it's a play on you look good yeah you do yeah and they don't they don't get really heavy either they don't these are actually nice and then this was the crown for barrel so if anyone wants to I'm just gonna do this there you go yeah um (laughs) I so with my cosplay name real quick uh I was trying to come up with a name yeah and I'm like what do I do what do I do well, with the silver hair, the natural hair, a lot of my friends call me a silver fox, you know, because I'm older and it's silver hair and everything. And so that's where my cosplay name came from. So Argent is another word for silver. I like it. Oh. And so it's Argent Fox cosplay without being like Interesting. Too... I thought you I just like, like misspelled it. agent and you couldn't like go oh back and God. do it. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, totally <laughs> it. That's exactly it. Cool. All right. Well, it's not what I thought. <laughs> I'm special. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this has been 
quite the experience. Yeah. Thank you, Ian, for that. Uh, <laughs> definitely check out Argent Fox Cosplay on Facebook and um, it, his Instagram, of course. It's not Argent Fox Cosplay. Oh, no, sorry. Who cares? It's, check <laughs> it out. It. It'll be yeah. fun. And then, so what cons do you have coming up real quick? Oh, I have Dragon Con in uh, September, and then I have KCC in November. Okay. That's awesome. Yay! And you guys, I'm assuming, are going to be the same. We will be at KCC. Yes. I won't be at Dragon Con. Yeah. This is my first year. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. Have fun. Have, now, how many times have you gone? I've only gone once. Okay. And there were good things, there were bad things. Okay. I, it, it's really crowded, but it's <laughs> wonderful to walk around and see all the amazing talents. And um, everything's in separate buildings, so it's a lot of walking. Yeah. But it's... Uh, some of the best parts about the con you don't even need a badge for. You just like walk okay. in and you see all these people like, and it's cool. amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah, you will I'll, go I'll there. I'll definitely go back. Good. I'll be But yeah, so check us out on uh, the Facebooks at uh, Hero Podcast Network. Be cosplayer of the week. Yeah, Submit your of the stuff. Week. I'm out of alcohol, so I'm sad. Okay. Well, cheers. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Costume Couture. Bye. Bye. Bye.